What have you, leaf haloed and bosom friend? Arboreal wisdom to recommend? <laughs> hmm. 
Loyal beast, what solace do you bring? Arias of hope you hope to sing, sing! But what is this? Hope that flies on eagle's wings?
Spirit of the Everbloom? Oh, honey. If you're the warden, you must know where we can find Mount Spout. Oh. Flowers. Flowers. My sweet. <coughs> <coughs> Drizzle, our flowers. At long last. Sullivan, about the darkness tentacle on the tracks. Whoa! Don't worry. Feel the not. Mm, yes, yes, that's great, but. All aboard!
Landing procedures interrupted. There is a massive... We will have to jump. Thankfully, we're just a few meters off the ground. Beepo, the storm has interfered with your eco-locative abilities. We are precisely 46... The collision energy at that distance at your speed of impact is 73 mil... Huh? You will become flatter than a tortilla on... Well, there you go. Genie has... Goobers. It's okay. We're okay. You're Ooh. okay? <laughs> Sorry. That was a miscalculation by our ship's AI. Uh, hi. Shop's closed. You are Mama, correct? Walden and... If our ship is not outfitted with the technology to penetrate the shields around... Ha! Hmm. Power's out, you know. Tell you what. one of our ship's teleport probes. Look, Beepo, though we cannot communicate direct, or if you still think- Miscalculation, <laughs> huh? Rosalina! Cursor. That thing is Cursor. And yes, Rosalina is firmly under its control. But... Oh. but... but... I think I know how you feel, because I... F but I also feel something else. 
While I am sad, I am also determined. Optimistic, even. I feel... I feel... You feel hope. You'll see. The Megabug. An abomination created partly from the mutated DNA of rabbits. It was thought to have been defeated. Yet, a fragment remained, floating aimlessly throughout the galaxy. Merged with and powered by stellar debris, it mutated once more. Slowly, it gained sentience. Desiring to grow, it fed upon the life energies of the galaxy eventually transforming into Cursa. One fateful day, some Lumas were playing with some rabbits who were passing by. Intrigued by the powerful energies emitted by the Lumas' joy, Cursa was drawn to the Comet Observatory. Cursa approached them while masking its presence. Even Rosalina could not sense its arrival until it was too late. At the last possible moment, Rosalina put herself between the Lumas. The rabbits and Lumas were saved, but something terrible happened. An enormous blast of energy. The rabbits and Lumas were flung far away, where they were merged together, creating a new powerful species now known as Sparks. Rosalina had also merged with Cursa. Cursa was in control, but felt Rosalina rebelling against the Union. To crush Rosalina's will once and for all, Cursa needs to gather sparks and absorb their energy. Then, it created an army made of corrupted rabbits and mind-controlled minions of Bowser, along with the Spark Hunters to lead them. Yet, Rosalina does not fear Cursa. From the very start, Rosalina knew she could count on her friends. She knew she could count on us. Oh, hope. Best not keep her waiting. It's not exactly the firepower I was expecting, but... But I trust you implicitly, Mama. We have just enough purified darkness energy to reach curse... Remember this. You. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. We will not forget it, we promise. Well then. Hmm. Curse's oh. stronghold. It may appear daunting, but remember Mama's words. Unity. We must trust in one another. Trust that our bond makes us stronger than all the fear and anger Cursa could ever add to the galaxy. Yes. Well said. Wow. You're really getting good at this emotion business. Everyone! The observatory's coordinates match those of the epicenter of darkness energy spread there. See the Comet Observatory's beacon? It is the entrance to the very core of the darkness dimension itself. It wasn't enough to take control of Rosalina. It had to ruin her home! A symbol of hope for all the galaxy! Ugh. Attack!
The density of darkness energy around the observatory has created enough air pressure to neutralize our thrusters. Brace yourselves. I will need to make an emergency landing on some debris left behind by the darkness barrier. Perhaps our ship can't get any closer to the Comet Observatory, but we can! See those cannons? We need to get to the larger one, and from there, we can get to Rosalina! Cursa, having descended from the megabug encountered in your previous adventures, has inherited its memories from which it reconstructed this likeness of Bowser. That's right. The megabug assumed control of Bowser, treating him like a mindless puppet. It was all for nothing. We beat him soundly, in front of Bowser Jr., no less. Remember Bowser? We won't be able to stop Bowser from leading this attack. Uh, we'll need three for backup. The wellspring of all darkness, Cursa. Though we are divided amongst three battlefields, our only chance is to work together. Cursa itself is too far to reach, but its astral arm is not. Focus on that, uh, as well as not getting hit. Cursa's likely plan of attack with the arm will be to target a hero with it shortly before thrusting it downward at them. We'll use this to our advantage. See those trampolines? If a hero leaps onto one, a jagged spike will rise from the floor. Take care that the hero attempting to leap onto a trampoline is nowhere near the arm, otherwise it will throttle them. generates is nearly incalculable. It must be powered by the sparks Cursor captured and exploited. Those sparks can still be saved. Set them free by hitting the star. Without their power, Cursor will...
Ah! 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 